Hello friend. How do we classify a company as a best of breed investing framework? One, if it is a company which is the top three companies by market cap in a particular sector, we classify them as best of breed. Or if it is a company that over a three year period has grown its revenues faster than the sector average. In other words, it is gaining market share. We classify it as a best of breed investor. Or if a company has margins which are significantly higher than the industry average, we again classify those companies as best of breed. And finally, if a company has capital efficiency ratios like say the return on equity or the return on capital employed, which is markedly different and higher than the rest of the industry average, we again classify them as best of breed investing. Let's give some examples as to how we deploy these strategies in the FMCG space, a space which created a lot of wealth in the last decade, but which has been struggling to create those returns over the course of the last two to three years. Over here, we've got investments in companies which are in the beverages and in the household insecticide space, which have gained very smart market share during this tough period. In both of these companies, they had also new management teams, new CEOs coming on board, which have further propelled new category creation within these companies, as well as launch of many new products. And while they have done better than the rest of the sector in terms of market cap and stock price performance over the last three years, they have broadly not generated great returns compared to the broader markets. As and when the pressures of the FMCG cycle reverse, it could be maybe six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, we think that investors will find a greater appreciation of these kind of franchises. And so this is why we persist with the best of breed investing framework. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.